welcome to Season 11, Episode 100 of Eagle News. Today is Thursday, March 22nd. Happy 100th day of Eagle News! Yay! Yay. 100! <laughs> my name is Maddie. And my name is Isaac. Our opening headline today. We have two more days until spring break! Yahoo! Woo! <laughs> Make sure you're still working hard in all of your classes. Also, good luck to our 8th grade Battle of the Books team on their term competition today! Make us proud! Also, on Tuesday when we get back from spring break, wear blue for Autism Awareness Day. Now let's head to the lounge for today's trivia. Thank you, Isaac and Maddie. I'm Josh. And I'm Madeline. And welcome to trivia. Today is in our new round of trivia. After two days, Miss Balls, for the first time this year, holds a seven-point lead over Mr. Nicolosi's room, 178 to 171. No, it's actually Mr. Holt who holds a seven-point lead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, here is the first trivia question for today. It's that one. Is this one? Okay. Yeah. Name something kids are using, are told to take turns using. Again, name something kids are told to take turns using. Now let's head back to the studio with our next headline. Congratulations, Abby S., Doction P., Sammy T., and Sammy T. for earning superiors at the Ohio State District Science Fair. They each qualified to go to the state science fair. We are so proud of your accomplishments. Reminder for all the film festival participants. Continue your work on creating videos on telling fantastic stories. Final projects are due in less than one month. Less than one month, people! <laughs> now let's head to the lounge with Madeline and Josh for our first video report. Hey Josh, do you remember, do you remember The Little Mermaid? Yeah, that was my childhood movie. I would watch that thing 24-7. Well, Katie, Alex, and Lexi made a movie review of the, this great movie. Let's go check it out. Hey, Eagles. Let's go under the sea and check out this movie review of The Little Mermaid. Under, under the, the sea. sea. Under, under the, the sea. sea. Everything's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. The Little Mermaid is a film made by Walt Disney in 1989. In this movie, we follow our 16-year-old red-haired mermaid protagonist, Ariel, who's obsessed with life on land. Everything seems normal until a nearby ship sinks, and one of the people on board almost drowns. But this is actually Eric, who's a hot prince, and the hot guy Ariel ends up falling in love with. Percussion. Strings. Winds. Words. There you see her, sitting there across the way. She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. And you don't know why, but you're dying to try. You want to kiss the girl. Because he's hot, Ariel goes to a nearby sea witch octopus thing that gave me nightmares to trade her fins and voice for a pair legs and two days to catch his hot dream boat's heart. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me well a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repented, seen the light and made a switch. Yes. The Little Mermaid was actually based off of a Danish fairy tale of the same name. The plot is a tone darker with a few more gruesome stories thrown in, but the ending is actually Ariel being turned into sea foam, so that's fun. The Little Mermaid is Flounder. Flounder is Ariel's sidekick and he stays with her throughout the whole movie and he's just really cool and he's not the brightest, but he's awesome. We rate The Little Mermaid a 7 out of 10 sea stars because we feel the music is great, the story is great, but it doesn't really hold together a whole lot. Like, we wish it would hold some more similarities to the original Danish fairy tale, but we also think that um, Ariel has a hoarding problem, and that's not exactly good for kids because hoarding is such a dilemma today. It's, it's a problem. We don't want to hoard, um, but Ariel does, blatantly. Because look at all that stuff she has. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think her collection's complete? Wouldn't you think she's a girl who's got everything? I mean, that's, that's what I think, but apparently not her. 
That's why it's rated 7 out of 10 C stars. Seriously? My movie only got a 7 out of 10. I want more. I wish I had hair like Ariel's. Luckily for lunch today, Ariel will not be served on the menu, but today we will have Mexican Fiesta Pizza Crunchers and Chicken Sandwich. With assorted fruits, vegetables, and juice or milk. Hey Maddie, what's a guacamole's favorite exercise? What? Of a cardio! Uh -huh. That was terrible. Anyway, now let's head to the lounge with more trivia. Trivia! Here are the winners from our first question. So the number one answer was toys slash games for 67 points, and Flayhive got the 10 point bonus. Uh, and then uh, Fee Fee Hand Nicolosi Pulliam and Mayer also got that. And then the number two answer was bathroom for 10 points, and Mayer got that one. And the number three answer was phone for eight points, and Sloan, Riss Meyer, and Holtz got that. And then the number five and number six answers, nobody got those, but they were bikes for four points and swing for four points. Wait, guys, oh, oh. is that the right thing? Yeah. 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 So then just drop the bus? No. 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 That's no. the second question. Oh, Quiet. Oh, okay. 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 I was confused. And now back to the studio for today's weather. you gotta read weather. the second question. Oh, the yeah. second question. <laughs> <laughs> Name something a school bus driver would not would hate to see a kid throw out the window. Again, <laughs> name something a school bus driver would hate to see a kid throw out of a window. Now let's head back to the studio for today's weather report. Today's weather will be, will be pretty winter-like with a 70% chance of snow and a high of 38 and a low of 23. Hey Maddie, what's it called when a snowman has a temper tantrum? A what? A meltdown! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Please or take it back to the lounge for the daily video. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to today's daily video. Uh, let's, we'll stay here for the daily video. Today we have our weekly weather look, and if you are watching this, then we did have a two hour delay yesterday. We should have had a snow day yesterday, but mm -hmm. it happened. Anyways, to the report. Time for weekly weather with us. Time for the precipitation map with Sammy. First we have the precipitation map. Up in the northeast we have some light snows from the northern snow showers. Down in Florida or like underneath Florida there's some rain and over here in California and up to Washington there's gonna be rain showers. Now for the pressure map with Karen. Okay, so now we have the current surface map and over here on the eastern part of the United States it's very low pressure. Down here in Texas it's very high pressure and then all over here it is low pressure. Now to the temperature map with Abby. In the northern half of the United States it is in the 30s to 40s and then down here in Mexico area it is like in the 60s and 70s and all along the southern half. And then in the middle of the United States, it is like in the mid 50s, high 50s. And then here in Ohio, it is like 25 degrees. I'm Janie. And I'm Jaden. And we're doing the current snow cover. Yeah. Okay, so up here in Washington, there's a lot of snow from snowstorms, yeah. And over here near Ohio and New York, there's also snow. I guess that's from the Nor'eastern. That's it. Bye. Time. Welcome to sports. Last night in sports, we will talk about hockey because it's getting pretty interesting in the Metro Division. Pittsburgh lost, Columbus won, so they are tied for second and third place in the Metro Division. Philly lost as they move back to the wild card. Anyways, it's going to get good here for all these teams as we enter the last two weeks of the season. Update. The Pens won last night, so they're two points in front of Columbus. And we moved out of the wild card. Woo! Now let's head to the studio with Isaac and Maggie for birthdays. Birthdays for today are... Jacob K. Hayden L. And Connor and Ryan S. Ooh, happy Woo! birthday! Yay! More trivia. 
Here's the second trivia question again. Name something a school bus driver would hate to see a kid throw out of a window. Now let's head back to the lounge for our third video report. Do you remember last week's Target video, Josh? Yeah, that was a great video. Well, they went back for another adventure. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Adventures in Target with Maddie, Kate, and Ashley. Target Brains Friends! Today we'll be checking out the craft section. But first, So for me, I grabbed bubbles because I, I chose something that's not necessarily spring, but it's summery, springish, and it's a plant succulent. <laughs> uh, I got this little frame thing. Welcome to the craft section! My fun craft is the spider graphs because they're really fun and I really like doing them. since marker maker thing because I got something similar to it for Christmas a couple years ago. It was really fun. Um, I got this Peppa Pig coloring book because she's like fire and she's like killing it. So yeah. Now let's check out school supplies. For my school supplies, I chose this really pretty hollow binder just because I thought it was really cute and pretty. So yeah. For my school supplies, I chose this folder thing with a bunch of pockets in it because my folder broke today and that was fun. <laughs> I picked this like, little travel pack thing with Avengers on it and Black Panther isn't on it but shout out to Josh's Black Panther video. Welcome to the Starbucks summary. Today from Starbucks I got an ice cream tea. They got water because this Target trip was really fun. But for now, bye! I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to today's fun fact of the day. Today's fun fact of the day is why do Mentos and Diet Coke react? As the Mento candy sinks in the bottle, the candy causes the production of more and more carbon dioxide bubbles, and the rising bubbles react with the carbon dioxide that is still dissolving, dissolved in the soda, because more carbon carbon dioxide, <laughs> more carbon dioxide to be freed and create even more bubbles, resulting in the eruption. Now that now let's head to the lounge. Here are the winners for the second question: Family Food Trivia. So the number one answer was books for 34, 34 points, and Pulliam got the extra 10-point bonus. Number two was another kid, and Playhive got that <laughs> for 17 yes, points. Nice. Please, no one do that. <laughs> and the number three answer was trash for 15 points, and that was Holt, Mayer, Vogue, Feehan, and Meyer. Uh, the number four answer was lunchbox slash food for 12 points. No one got that. And the number six answer was bottle for nine points, and nobody got that one either. I'm Josh. And I'm Madeline. Thanks for watching today's Eagle News. Follow Eagle News on Instagram and Twitter to see our new post and tweets. Oh, go to the, let's go to the studio. <laughs> Follow Eagle News on Instagram and Twitter to see our new post every day. Bonus points are available if you listen to today's podcast or listen to the Eagle News Daily Cup on your Amazon Alexa. Go on YouTube to Hyatt's Eagle News to watch our videos and subscribe. Please Bye. Subscribe. Bye. Bye. Bye.